Hey guys, SuperTankMoth here, and I'm here with another Xcode tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can delay an event uh, in your iOS application. And this code will work on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. So let's open up Xcode and start a new project. I'm simply going to call mine test, and I'm going to use a single view application. Call it test and save it on the desktop, like so. Now let's make this bigger and come into our viewcontroller.xib file. So basically, this is how I'm going to be showing you the delay code. So we're going to have a button, like so, and it's going to be called uh, view. Then we're also going to have a label, which we add, and this label is going to say hello. Uh, let's just center align the text. So I'm going to make the alpha of this label zero. So here's what's going to happen. So when we press this button, there's going to be a delay of six seconds. And after the delay, this label here will simply appear so we can actually read the text. Very simple, right? But it's just here to demonstrate how you can delay an event in any of your iOS applications. So now let's come to the code and let's go to the viewcontroller.h file. Just going to add in two curly brackets here. And we're going to add an IB outlet for the UI label. So IB. Um, IB outlet space UI label space star and I'll give our label a name so I'm going to call it label semicolon save now underneath the closing uh, curly brackets we're going to add in an IB action and a void statement so IB action now we're going to give our button uh, or yeah the button a name so I'm just going to call this button semicolon save and now we're just going to come in and add the void statement. So I'm going to call my void statement delay, semicolon, save. Now we're going to copy and paste the void statement and our IB action into our viewcontroller.m file. Like so. Let's copy and paste it there. And the following here, okay. So in between our curly brackets for our IB action, we're going to add in a code which will initiate this void statement after six seconds. So open square brackets, self, space, perform, selector, uh, colon, at, selector, and then open and close two brackets. And in between our brackets, we're going to call our void statement. So my void statement is called delay. So delay space after the closing brackets and then type in with object colon nil space after delay colon and now we're going to type in the number of seconds we want to wait. So mine I'm going to be waiting six seconds, so I'm going to put six point zero, close the square brackets, semicolon, save. So you see it's very simple. When this button is pressed, we're going to wait six seconds. After six seconds, we're going to call our void statement, which is this statement. And in this statement, we're going to tell, uh, the, uh, tell the iOS simulator, in this case, what to do. So in this case, it's going to be label.alpha space equals 1.0 semicolon. So just save that. And there we have it. So basically, after six seconds, the delay void statement will be launched. And that will tell the label to simply appear. Very simple, right? So now let's just connect our code to our interface. So click the files owner here and click the connections tab here. Connect our label outlet to our UI label and connect the button to our uh, round rec button and then click touch up inside. Save that. And now we're going to build and run. So if we've done everything correctly, which we should have, all the code was correct, and we've connected our code to our UI file, then um, it should work perfectly. So let's just wait for it to run. So um, here we go. So here's the iOS simulator, and we've got a button, which is called View. If we press this button, we're going to wait six seconds. So let's just wait six seconds. And the label, there we go. So after a delay of six seconds, this label finally appeared. Very, very simple, right? But this is just demonstrating to you how you can use 
um, a delay method in your iOS application, or in other words, how you can delay an event um, in any of your iOS applications. And as I said, this will work on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye. For the latest Xcode tutorials, please check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash supertankboff.